Brinson DHing today. One of three players in the lineup for the Marlins in this game who are all acquired together in the Christian Yelich deal from oh. Milwaukee. And Brinson, it's one out of sight to left center field. Forget that. Wow. That is way back in the trees. Quite a blast by Lewis Brinson, who had 11 home runs last year, and he ties up the game at a run apiece. That was a fastball down in the strike zone. We're talking about most of today's hitters are low ball hitters. And he hits another one. This one deep to left. And forget that one. Rajay Davis will watch it fly. Lewis Brinson, two at bats, two home runs. And it's now six to two, New York. Boy. So Brinson's now at eight spring at bats. He's hit three home runs. From mid thigh, locks that ball down. Well, the combination of Brinson's speed and power is what attracted. The Marlins to him. Well, I think the biggest thing with Lewis is a, a tremendous athlete and, and I think we just want to continue to grow him from you know a, a, an up and down 2018. When you look at what he has done this offseason and, and committing himself to improving and, and giving us more consistent at bats uh, we're looking forward to, to seeing what he can do in 2019. Byron just 28 ball games last year with Minnesota and some injuries and they play well here's the pitch here that ball's hit well to left field ball might have a chance. And he's going to look up and go. Boxed him with a line drive home run. And stay hot. Byron Twins have tied it up 2-2. It looked like he was off speed pitch. Not in front, just one-handed it for a home run. That left in a hurry, too. There wasn't a whole lot of height on it, wow. but it just screamed out. That was a 95-mile-an-hour fastball. And Tapia looked like he did try to drop down on it, but at 95, Buxton ties it up. I kind of changed my whole approach this offseason. You know, I just told myself, just go out there and be yourself. You know, I play better when I'm myself. I play better when I'm not thinking as much, and that allows me to go out there and have fun. The more fun we have, the more better we play. You know, I'm still learning myself, still trying to figure things out, and every day is a learning, learning curve for me. So, you know, I try to pass down everything that I've learned from Tori and Kadir and whatever you learn and you, it works for you, you know, you try to give it to that next person to make them better. And a fastball in there. Throwing a little heat today within the strike zone. Good fastball in here by Flaherty. Catches Andrew looking. Swing and a miss. A high fastball. Two strikeouts in the inning for Flaherty. So one, two, three, bottom of the first inning. One ball and two strikes. And that one around. So that'll be the third strikeout for Flaherty. You can see why the Cardinals are high on this young man because of the fastball that he possesses. Runner goes from first. Pitch is swung out and miss. Throw to second base. He is. In time. Romito's tagged out. It's a strikeout throw out double play. One two pitch coming to Franco. Inside two and two. Oh man. Why did he go around? We did go around. Did go around. My apologies to Marty Foster. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> two two pitch. Swing and a miss. Strikeout number six for Flaherty. Swing and a miss and he just struck out the side. Seven strikeouts through three innings for Flaherty. So I get a miss. Eight strikeouts for Flaherty. You know, it's not like the Phillies haven't hit this spring either. I mean, right. They're, they're facing a guy that has been excellent on the mound, but this is a Phillies team that has scored runs. And a strike three called nine strikeouts today for Flaherty in three and two thirds innings of work. So he goes back foot slider, and Nick Omos takes one out of here to right field. He's, you know what, I'm going to throw the back door one right here. Jack Flaherty in midseason form. Putting together the most dominant spring training outing in the history of spring training outings. But the thing about Flaherty, too, for 23 years old, uh, he's got excellent mechanics. He does. His windup reminds me a little bit of Max Scherzer. He kind of steps to his side, hands up over top of his head into his windup. Max effort guy like Scherzer. Right hander John Gray, one of their young veterans, hoping to bounce back from last season. Jared Parker looks at a call, third strike, this time fastball. 1 2 gets Smith again. Cut on and missed. Back to back strikeouts for John Gray. Two gone here in the top of the second inning. And again, this time brings it way back. 75 miles per hour on the changeup. Three straight strikeouts. Gray strikes out this side in the second inning. 